I would like to discuss with you today all about pomegranate that I have learned. So um, I'm going to discuss pomegranate tree care. Um, it is known as Punica granatum. Pomegranate trees are a deciduous shrub that can reach 12 to 20 feet tall. The characteristics of pomegranates include multiple thick stems. It is great in USDA plant hardiness zones 7 through 10. Um, the plant, you can plant palm seedlings in soil that's slightly acidic to neutral, so 5.5 to 7, in full sun to part shade. If planting in a hedge, place them, space them out 6 to 9 feet apart. Um, in orchards, space them 15 to 18 feet apart. Water pomegranate trees every 7 to 10 days, about 5 to 6 inches of water. It only needs about 50 to 6 inches 50 to 60 inches of rain annually. So irrigate it evenly all around the tree or shrub to prevent fruit splitting. So some people may keep it short and keep it a shrub or it can be allowed to grow tall and be a tree. Young palms need two to two and a half pounds of fertilizer in the spring and early winter, about an 888. When the palm tree is mature, use compost or manure instead of fertilizer. When the palm tree reaches two feet tall, cut out all the shoots except four to five healthy ones. So I need to trim this one pretty soon. Um, I just bought this one. When the palm reaches two feet tall, cut out all the shoots except four to five healthy ones. New fruits grow at the tip, so shorten the shoots every year for the first three years to encourage new growth and for a strong plant. After three years, just prune dead branches and open up the plant for air circulation. Look for aphids and use ladybugs to um, destroy the aphid population if there are aphids present. And when harvesting pomegranate fruit, it should be about two to five inches round. Um, tap, the, tap on the fruit and listen for a metallic sound um, to see if it is ready. So here I just purchased the Utah Sweet Pomegranate, Punica Granatum, um, it uh, requires full sun and um, it gets to about 12 feet tall. It can be up to 20 to 30 feet tall if it's not kept at 12 feet tall when mature. And this one, this variety has pink and orange flowers which persist on the fruit and become pinkish orange skinned and inside it is also a very light colored um, little fruit and this particular plant self-pollinates or cross doesn't need cross-pollination um, uh, but it is pollinated by insects which increases the fruit set. It's very sweet and the seeds are softer than Wonderful Palm and other cultivars. And it's this one grows best in zone 6 to 10. It's a deciduous tree. And so like other plants, it's best to prune and clean and shape it in the winter and fertilize it in February, May, and September. It may produce more than 50 pounds of food per year when mature. And it may be grown in a pot or on the ground. And it's recommended in cooler zones to grow in containers and move it inside in the winter. So this is my Utah palm.
So here is my wonderful palm. It's quite tall. It is about 10 to 12 feet tall. Um, I also have uh, one sitting right next to it. I've been covering the palm because I'm trying to keep um, animals, squirrels especially, from eating them. They've already gotten to some of my my fruits if you have seen my prior videos. Um, so here I have several that I haven't covered yet and there I used a medical gauze that I had left over um, and I I'm kind of wrapping it around the branch so that it, um, so what happens is, uh, squirrels and stuff will try to climb it and the, their little nails will get cut in the gauze, not cut, but caught in the gauze. And then they will feel like they're getting trapped and they won't climb it and, and eat all my fruit. At least that's the theory. And in some of them, I have wrapped them up with with uh, mesh from Costco and other other places. And I've ordered some, but um, I haven't pulled those out to wrap the palm with. I might do that today. Um, there are some that are way up tall that I can't get to. Um, so we'll see what I can do about that. So Palm Wonderful can also grow the same height as stated previously, and but it can be, it grows in warmer temperatures, so zone seven to 10. It is also self-pollinating. Um, it has orange red blossoms, it's darker colored, um, and the fruit is darker as well. And, it has this beautiful shiny leaves. Um, it blossoms in late spring and attracts hummingbirds and butterflies. And uh, the leaves turn golden yellow in the fall and then fall off in the winter. And large red fruit grow from this one that are sweet and tangy. And it is eaten fresh or juiced. It's a great source of vitamin C, antioxidants, and fiber. It grows well in containers and if it die, dies back in winter then new growth will appear true to type. It ripens in September and harvest time is September 8th through October 12th. It needs protection from frost in zones 7 and lower. It needs full sun, loamy soil, well draining pH 5.5 to 7 uh, soil, and it takes two to three years to bear fruit. I've had this for about four years. The chill hours are 150 days. That means how many days it requires to be cold for it to um, be able to make fruit. The following year. The plant is vigorous and productive. Lead, um, it's a leading variety in California and it loves desert climates and cold winters. And um, I hope you give it a try at growing this. I have this on the back of my property um, where I don't go too often. So the only problem are the critters eating it um, but other than that it does give quite a bit of fruit uh, I trimmed it to be a little shorter um, trying to keep it away from my roof line but uh, the problem is it tends to bend it has um, really weak branches other than the core branches so it, it just kind of like flows every which way. So um, when it's young, it probably needs to be propped up. Um, and I have my, my other one, the younger one, propped up right now. Um, 
but uh, it does give a lot of fruit and you need the antioxidants to lower the free radical um, effects so I hope you give it a try thank you for watching